What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo. We are back for another episode review, baby. This is a pose. Season 2, Episode 8, Revelations. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And then hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. <laughs> This episode of Pose was giving us something we could feel. I know I'm late with the review. My apologies. Y'all pray for your auntie because uh, y'all nephew is sick or whatever. I mean, I'm sorry. Your little cousin is sick. My son got strep throat. Y'all pray for your auntie right now because I'm going through it and I'm stressed. So when my baby's stressed, I'm stressed. So y'all pray for your baby cousin because he's going through it right now. But anyways, y'all, this episode was the bomb, the best one so far out of both the seasons. Y'all ready for this review? Cause I'm damn sure ready to give it to y'all. So come on, let's do this. Let's go and get into it. Y'all, so Pray Tell is hipping Ricky to the game on the vitamins that he needs to take every day, right? He just got this new diagnosis of HIV. He's in a totally vulnerable state. He's devastated. And so, of course, he doesn't want to take the AZT. He doesn't want to get none of those side effects. So, Prey is educating him on different medicines to take, like zinc, magnesium, calcium, all that good shit you need to keep yourself healthy or whatever, right? And so, Ricky feels like he's damaged goods. He's like, ain't nobody going to love me. Ain't nobody going to want me. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Now, pause for the call so we can air out them draws. I had a feeling from the jump something was going to happen with Pray Tell and, and, and Ricky, but you know how you just kind of like, no, nah, bitch, no. It ain't for, your mind is in the gutter, Mo. No, it ain't for happen. So later on, right, Ricky claims that he wants to crash over there at Pray Tell's house. You know, he asked me, you mind if I crash over here because, you know, it's Friday night. Electra got her little boyfriends over there and shit gets weird. I bet it does. She all into that s and shit. I bet she in there beating shit out the men in there. But anyways, he's like, you know, can I crash over here? So Pray Tell is like, you know, you know, I don't mind. The couch is lumpy and uh, tomorrow's my day off, so which means I'm sleeping in. So let yourself out. Now, first and foremost, why you have to tell that motherfucker the couch is lumpy? Now, mind you, the whole day or the whole night or whatever that they're chilling over there at Pray Tell House, you could kind of see Ricky making eyes at Pray Tell. And then when Ricky wasn't looking, you could see Pray Tell kind of looking him up and down like, damn, this pork chop look good. But, again, I'm like, no. Ain't now one of them going to cross the line like that. No. No. Baby, when I tell you, Pray Tell is laying in his bed. Ricky come creeping up in the bed talking about, man, you right, that couch was lumpy. Pray tell was like, uh, what in God's name do you think, you, what, what, what the hell is you doing? Ricky like, shoot, that couch was lumpy, you know what I'm saying? This nigga just thought he slide on up in here, you know what I'm saying? He was cracking. And pray tell is like, no, motherfucker, what you in here during? Baby, when I tell you. So Ricky was like, I'm feeling you, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel you. Pray tell is like, uh, you know what? You just in a vulnerable state right now. You just got a lot going on in your mental. You confused. Baby, Ricky got Pray Tell's hand, slid his hand on down there and was like, uh, is this confused? Bitch, when I heard whip a pill came out, I already knew what was going down. Cause I done got busy to whip a pill before. Oh my god, it went down. When I tell you it was all kind of sensualness, all the rubbing and all the caressing and all the bent over and all of this and all of that and all the ooh. I was just like, oh my like, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby, then next thing you know, Ricky comes slide up on behind Pray Tell was like, I think I want you to have me too. I'm like, ah! My lord, it's going down. They got a cracking, y'all. They got a cracking. Left girl afterwards, they sitting up there laid up in a bed looking like a goddamn Prince Purple Rain poster. Child, that was the first seven minutes of Pose. And they was getting it cracking like that. Lord, I was like, baby, if this is what's going down the first seven minutes, bitch, let me make sure I ain't got nothing to do for the next 45. Because, uh, 
I, I would like to see. Y'all, so Angel had her photo shoot with that photographer that tried that tried to make her take them nasty pictures last time or whatever, right? So, you know, he popped up on her this last um, modeling session that she had. Now, she said that he was aggressive. He was an asshole. He was real rude. Like, just being real, just being an asshole to her. But he didn't out her, so she felt like she on the safe side. I don't know, Angel. I feel like that fool is saving it for later. I don't know if next week or the week after. I don't know if it's one or two episodes left, but the season finale is coming up. Homeboy not through with you. Y'all beat the brakes off his ass. He waiting on a chance to get you back. So don't, um, don't, don't, don't count that motherfucker out. But, um... Poppy said he had something that he wanted to show her, right? So he took her over to this apartment that his homeboy is renting out. Now, he's like, you know, it's a beautiful apartment. It's a small one. You know, it's overlooking the piers and all that. Because, you know, the piers is where homegirl used to, you know, do some strange for a little piece of change down over there. You know, Poppy was slanging rocks and shit over there. So, um, you know, it's something that she can look over at, like where I used to be at to where I am now. Poppy wants that apartment for her. Now, she's like, well, you know, last time I had an apartment for, you know, a dude had an apartment for me he had me on retainer like i was his living hoe or whatever and so poppy like no this is for you i can stay over there with blanca it ain't nothing i just want you to have this the rent is 450 a month bitch 450 a month bitch i ain't paid 450 a month since my first apartment first apartment i had i was 19 years old you couldn't tell me shit because i thought i was popping Woodland Heights over here in Austin, Texas, off of I-35 North. Yes, that was my shit. I kept it popping in that apartment. But 450, bitch, I damn near passed out. That's a, a quarter of what our rent is now. I was like, God damn. But it's cute or whatever. Hopefully, you know, she takes a little old apartment. We'll see what happens with that. Moving on from there. Y'all, so pray tell comes skipping down the goddamn street, whistling Dixie and shit. He feeling good than a mofo. He done came to the, is it the bi-monthly meeting, uh, bi-monthly bi council meeting of the MCs over the bars or whatever, right? And so when he walk in, they like, oh, damn, bitch. You in a good little old mood. What's, what's, what's cracking? What's the tea, how? What's the tea? And so, she, you know, pray tell was just like, no, I'm in a great mood, yada, 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 whatever, right? So they, you know, making decisions on what the changes or whatever they want to do to the ball. And so they were saying that Candy Sweet Ravine, that category has been getting a lot of rave reviews. And now the Butch Queens want to get in and they want to have their own lip singing uh, category. Pray tell us like approves. Approved, 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 approved. <laughs> and they're like, well, bitch, damn, what's up with you? You ain't arguing normally. You got something to say about everything that's going down. He was like, look, I have a confession to make. I took on a lover. They're like, oh, bitch, who is it? We got to know, bitch, nigga, I got to know. So he tells them that it's a young and whatever. So they're like, oh, you a cougar hoe. Oh, so you a, you a cradle robbing ass fish or whatever. And so she tells them, like, no, I'm not in love. I'm in lust or whatever. And, um, you know, I'm just having fun right now. And so Pray Tell is like, you know, He's, he doesn't want to say who it is because, of course, everybody knows who Ricky is. But eventually, they end up getting it out of him. they like, well, you know, I just need to know. Like, bitch, first of all, living your truth, walking your truth, whoever it is that you, you know, have fun with, stand up and be prideful of it. Don't hide it because, bitch, we want to know. And so, eventually, he tells them that it's Ricky. And they're like, oh, bitch, no. He still got Similac on his breath and behind his goddamn ears. Bitch, you don't see them bugs? That ain't no package. That's a pamper, baby. He's still a youngin'. But, you know, Pray Tell is like, look, I'm just having fun. It ain't nothing serious. We just in lust. And so one of the queens was like, oh, bitch, what's Damon gonna say? That would have been me all day. Bitch, have you talked to Damon? You Oh, what you think he gonna say? That, 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 that would have been me all goddamn day. But Pray Tell tells him, look, they broken up. I ain't breaking up no household, none of that. He ain't worried about what Damon gonna say. He more, more or less worried about Blanca. Because, you know, Blanca, Blanca ain't finna go for that shit. You are seen as a father figure in the household, and you out here sleeping with the kids? I know. Blanca gonna have a problem with that. Y'all, so Damon and Ricky are back over at the house of Evangelista, right? They in the kitchen cooking or whatever. They're sitting up there listening to Tony, Tony, Tony. It feels good. That used to be my shit back in the day or whatever, right? So they're just in the kitchen eating pizza rolls, dancing, this, that, or whatever, right? And so... Damon, um, Damon was getting ready to make some pizza rolls. Ricky kept saying how much he missed being back over there at the house of Evangelista, especially the last couple of weeks. It seemed like he'd been there ever since Candy passed away, which he probably has, right? 
And so eventually, you know, Ricky asked, like, who's all in the house? And he was like, well, you know, Blanca at the shop, Poppy and Angel out on a day, pray tell out doing what he do, so it's just me and you. So he tries to go over there and come on to, to, to Ricky. And then Damon like, you know what? So I thought about it, and my answer is yes, I'll take you back. Ricky kind of looking like, bitch, I didn't know I asked you again. I thought I asked you that one time, and you tell a nigga no. So, you know what I'm saying? I kind of went on and did my own thing. He didn't say it like that, but that's the look that he had on his face. And so Ricky's like, Damon, you know, look, I got to tell you something. Damon like, Lord, please don't tell me you out here fucking around with somebody else. Ricky came on out and said it. He was like, you know what? I tested positive. First, Damon kind of laughs it off, and he was like, how is that? You know, you and I just went and got tested not too long ago, and it was negative. He tells him that Chris called him. Chris called him and told him that he's positive and that he needed to go get tested, and so he went and got tested. So, Damon is like, wait a minute. You told me all he did was slob on the knob. You didn't tell me that y'all actually had sex, which we already knew R Ricky was lying. You know, Ricky be out there hoeing like that. And so he tells Damon that he needs to go and get tested. Now, at this point, Ricky is crying. He is upset because, you know, he feels bad that he exposed him to HIV. At this point, Damon is pissed off. He tells him to get the F on up out the house. Ricky leaves sad and crying, probably went down there, was crying in the car. I felt bad for him, you know what I'm saying? Because he didn't mean to expose Damon to HIV. But then again, at the same time, you was out here just... Laying it low and spreading it wide. So what you expect to happen? Then Ricky tells him that, you know, he's been learning a lot about the virus from Pray Tell. He's been spending a lot of time over there with Pray Tell. So Damon is like, well, why would you go to Pray Tell and not come to me and let me know first? Why would you go to him? Ricky had this look of guilt on his face like... Damon already knew what that meant. Damon already knew what that meant. He was like, oh... Also, y'all, y'all getting it in like that, huh? All right, well, did you tell the motherfucker you a liar? He's like, look, it ain't nothing like that. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I, it ain't nothing like that. So, eventually, Ricky ends up leaving, and he's crying, and he's upset, and I feel bad for him. I feel real, real bad for him, but you know, hey, that's the consequences. That's what happens when you out there just sticking and dicking in any goddamn body else, and I feel bad for Damon. Bitch, if Damon come up positive for HIV, do y'all know? I'm going to be in a corner crying somewhere. I am. Trust me, I am. So it's the night of uh, Damon's graduation, right? And so Damon is on stage, and he's doing a lyrical dance to Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel. Now, anybody out there, if anybody has ever been in a, in a, a gospel choir, I was in gospel choir in college um, when I went to Texas College and when I went to Paul Quinn. Baby, y'all already know Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel then why not ever remand? Because, baby, we all sung that damn song, whatever, right? And so, Damon does a great job. Everybody's there. Electra and Lulu was there. Electra started coming around. Electra was my bitch in this episode. We finna get to that in just a minute. So, afterwards, Helena and Blanca, Blanca share a beautiful moment together. They're both thanking each other for the work that they've put in to help Damon to get to where he is right now. Helena is telling Blanca that, no, you're you're more of a mother than most biological mothers. And Damon would be, Damon is, is you know, he's blessed to have you as his stand-in mother, and you've just done a phenomenal job with him. Blanca's telling Helena, like, no, you were the one that gave him a chance. You were the one that seen the good in him. You were the one that seen the talent in him, and you were the one that helped to push them. So I thought that was super, super cute, right? So afterwards, Blanca invites Helena over to the house afterwards because she said they're having a party for Damon. Helena kind of looks back. She was like, mm, maybe next time. I think something in Helena's psyche was telling her, oh, no, bitch. <laughs> It's about to go down. I don't think you want no parts to that cookie right there, y'all. But it was cute. He did his graduation. He got his degree moving on from that. Y'all, so they're at the house of Evangelista. It's a little dinner party that they're having for Damon, right? Damon stands up. He does a little speech. He thanks everybody for being there for him. He thanks everybody for sharing that moment with him. And then he says that he's going to take some time to be selfish and just to reflect and just to think about himself and to put himself first for a while, right? Angel comes out the side being shady and was like, hmm, like, 
you 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 better now just now start doing that damon like blows it off or whatever he continues on with the rest of his speech or whatever right and so right before he's done with his speech um angel says something else real shady and so you know right before he sits down damon's like well you know what angel i'm going through a season of just purging all the negativity from my life be careful because you could be the next one up to go next thing you know angel and Damon start going back and forth. I mean, the insults were flying. Poppy asked Damon, what are you planning on doing now that you're out of school? And uh, Damon's like, well, my degree is in dance, so I guess I'm going to, you know, do something that has to do with dance. So Angel is like, quite frankly, I think Angel was high because she was acting real weird. Angel was like, so is there even a future for a dancer? And Damon is like, yeah, you know, if the person is hard working and they're dedicated and, you know, they, they work hard for it, then yeah, absolutely. Angelo... Shady ass gonna say, huh, sounds like kind of a short shelf life, huh? I was like, oh, bitch, damn, that was shady. Damon was like, well, probably not as short as the shelf life of a model. So, again, they kind of start going back and forth with the insults or whatever, right? This motherfucker Damon gonna say to Angel something like, baby, that's not a natural glow. That's cocaine sweats. Angel kind of looked like Poppy over here to the side like, oh, shit. She was like, no, you lying. You ain't see that. Then Lulu going to come out the side and say, Lulu was like, well, what was that she was doing in the bathroom the other day when I walked in on you? And she was like, I was doing my makeup. Bitch, mind your business. Y'all, so again, they just started going at it back and forth or whatever, right? Then Angel comes out and was like, well, you let Ricky have sex with you without a condom? Did she remember that? Yada, yada, yada. So Poppy gets up, takes Angel on up out the room or whatever, right? Then the next thing you know, Damon and Blanca start getting into it. Damon is like, you know, I've been there for you. I've had your back. I'm always there to support you. It seems like now that you done got this nail shop, you all about yourself. You always believe in Angel over anybody else. You don't want to believe nothing that nobody else is saying, yada, 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 whatever, right? So, next thing you know, Electra stands up. Electra was me the whole time. I think Electra was all of us at this point. At this dinner party, Electra was everybody. Everybody watching this, that was Electra. Baby, Electra stood up. She was like, who is raising these damn kids? I need some Remy Martin to deal with this bullshit. That was funny as hell. So, Electra gets up, goes over there to the kitchen, get her some little Remy Martin, whatever, right? At this point, Ricky, I'm sorry, at this point, Damon and Blanca still back and forth going at it. Damon is telling, um, you know, the room, like, I'm pissed off or whatever because my boyfriend had exposed me to HIV. Blanca looking like, what? When did she find this out? And he was like, how about you ask Pray Tell? Pray Tell was like, look, how dare you expose him like that? That it was not your place to expose his status like that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? At this point, Damon said, well, how about else? Well, how about you tell um, Blanca the real reason why you ain't said nothing about Ricky's status? At this point, baby, Electra is walking back in to the daggone dining room where they was having dinner. Pray tell is like, I didn't say nothing because it wasn't my place. It's not my business. Damon said, oh, yeah, it's not because y'all fucking. Electra say, ooh. Next thing you know, Damon and Pray tell start going back and forth at each other. Pray tell is telling Damon that you ain't going to disrespect your mama in my presence. It's that and the other. He's telling him that he ain't got no respect. You don't know nothing about respect. Next thing you know, Damon called Pray tell a slut. Pray tell come way across the room on his ass. Blanca and Electra both had to hold Pray tell ass back. Blanca is like, wait a minute. Pray tell me this ain't the truth. Tell me this is not the truth. And Electra's like, wait a minute. You are a father figure to these kids. Pray tell is like, I'm not his father. He's like, right, you don't have to be his house father. But you are a father figure to these kids. You the one supposed to be standing up instead of laying down. Like, what the hell is you doing? That goes against all the rules. And so Blanca gets pissed off. She tells Pray tell, like, look, get the fuck out. And he was like, oh, for real? She's like, yes, please get the fuck out. So he gets ready to leave. Before he leaves, he was like, I just got one thing to say. I am a grown-ass man. Ricky is a grown-ass man. Quite frankly, Pray tell. That don't goddamn matter. Because like they said, you're supposed to be the father figure to, to these kids. You ain't supposed to be up in there creeping and sneaking and slipping and dipping and dipping and low and spreading and wide and all of that. You're supposed to be the father figure to these damn kids. Y'all, that denter went down. It went down the whole time. I wish I could have been a fly on the wall sitting in the back. Because, baby, I was like this. 
So it's the night of the ball or whatever, right? And when I tell you Pray Tell is on the mic and he has not skipped a beat, he act like ain't a damn thing happened at all. So Poppy wins his category. Next thing you know, Damon is walking through the ball. He sees Blanca, Angel, and Poppy sitting over there at the bar. So he goes up to him and he was like, so did you tell mother the truth yet? Did you out here tooting and booting and all of that? And so she was like, no, I ain't going nowhere. Blanca believes Angel, but I think in the back of her mind, she already kind of know, but that's her only daughter. So she ain't going to, she ain't going to believe what um, Damon is saying that easily or whatever, right? And so Damon is hurt. He was like, okay, so basically you calling me a liar? Blanca doesn't say nothing because basically you are. You calling this man a liar? Like, that's fucked up. That's supposed to be your son or whatever, right? So then Damon goes out there. He wins his category for Butch Queen Vogue. He goes backstage. Afterwards, when he's backstage, this lady named Tori walks up to him and says that she's the road manager for Melvin McCleary. He's getting ready to go on tour, and they want to give Damon an opportunity to go on tour. I was like, yes, bitch, do that. After the ball, Blanca and Pray Tell get into it again because Blanca's like, look, I need to talk to you. Like, what you did was real messed up, and you should have said something about it. They going back and forth with the insults to each other, and like, Pray, I mean, and I, I, I get what Pray Tell is saying. Pray Tell was like, I'm a 45-year-old man, and finally somebody showed some interest in me, and who, you know, silly me for falling for it. And I get it, Pray Tell, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, and he tried to tell Blanca, like, you don't understand what it's like to be a male and have HIV. And Blanca's like, no, you don't understand what it's like to be a woman and have HIV. Men think that they can still get HIV from a spoon. And so they end up going at it, and in the end, before Pray Tell leaves, Pray Tell's like, I'm going to tell you one last thing, and I'm going to leave it alone. He said, I never meant to hurt anybody. Baby, he turned around, flicked his cigarette, and walked on off, you know, into the bar to finish off whatever. Y'all, I hope and pray that Blanca and, uh, and Pray Tell's relationship is not damaged over this whole situation with Ricky, because I can definitely see that happening. But they're best friends. They're more like brother and sister than anything, so hopefully... They can get past this. They can move this and, you know what I'm saying, should have worked out with them. Because I just can't take it in my spirit if Blanca and Pray Tell is not together. Like, I need them together. They need each other. Blanca need Pray Tell and Pray Tell need Blanca. That's in it. Period. Back at Pray Tell's house, he over there drunk, <laughs> drowning his shoulda, woulda, coulda's in a whole goddamn bottle, whatever, right? So Ricky ends up coming over there. He sees Pray Tell all depressed and sad and he's depressed because of Blanca whatever right he's so fucked up Ricky gotta help him undress get him in the bed and get him to lay down because the motherfucker was so drunk girl he was so goddamn he was a hot ass goddamn mess so um, Ricky goes and helps put him in the bed or whatever right and so he tells pray tell something about you know we'll talk about this in the morning and pray tell was like no we won't because when I wake up you're gonna be gone well lo and behold it's the next morning Pray tell, get up. He going there in the kitchen. Bitch, Ricky in the kitchen cooking like Melvin gonna look back. You want some? Girl, that was straight out of Baby Boy right there. Straight up out of Baby Boy. So they sat down and they ate breakfast. And Pray tell was just happy to see that Ricky did not end up leaving him. Bitch, Ricky finna be there every day like Melvin in the kitchen. Butthole naked, scrambling eggs. I don't want that relationship with them just because it's just it's weird to me because they're more like father and son than lustrous lovers or whatever so i don't know but then again something in my spirit is telling me that these fools is gonna end up falling in love with each other which again i mean i would be here for it but then again it's like mm, bitch what they even gonna say Block and Angel meet up, and Angel finally admits to Blanca that yes, what Damon was saying is the truth, that she has been playing around with her nose or whatever, and per the rules of Blanca's house, she has to be kicked out. Now, Blanca already, like I said, in the back of her mind, she already knew that Damon was telling the truth, but like she said, you my only daughter, like, where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? So she tells him, I mean, she tells Blanca about the apartment that Poppy got set up for her, and then she says that Poppy's gonna be there with her, so, you know, they're gonna take care of each other just the way that she taught them how to do it and y'all it was sad to me it was sad to me because I could just start to see like everybody leaving mother Blanca like what is we gonna do what is we gonna do Blanca gets back to the house and she sees Damon in there he's cleaning up his room or whatever she comes in there try to make small talk with him and Damon ends up telling her that you know he got this opportunity to tour with Melvin McClary 
but the tour is going to be in Europe and he's going to be gone for about a year or so or whatever, right? Now, this is what I love about Blanca. At first, Damon was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm scared. Like, he's scared. He's scared to leave the nest. He's scared to leave Blanca and then to be in a whole other country. But Blanca knows that this is a huge opportunity for him. Even though she loves him, she doesn't want him to leave. She would never stand in the way of what a big opportunity it is for him to be seen and to be heard by the world. And so she encourages him like, look, don't let this, this, I ain't going nowhere. Don't let this stop you from getting out there and making something of yourself and being something big. And so she encourages him. She helps him pack because he's leaving in a week to go to Europe. I'm like, damn, Poppy and Angel, then pray tell. And now Damon, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So he's going on tour with Melvin McClary. I'm happy for him, though. He Later her. on, Blanca goes and meets with Electra or whatever, right? Blanca's in her feelings deep. She's like, everybody's leaving. Like, what do I do now? Like, my house is empty. What do I do? And this was another point where you've seen Electra actually being a human being. Because the only other time you actually seen her being a human being is when Homeboy died, when she was whooping his ass. Electra tells her, like, look, there are children all over the world that need homes. But, like, Blanca tells her, yeah, I get that, but th there's nothing like these children. You know, because it was her first children in her house or whatever, right? So Electra gives her a hug. She encourages her, tells her that she's going to be okay. At this point, they was at Electra's job. Electra's like, baby, I got to go to work. So she leave on up out of that girl in the old nasty one piece that she had on. Goes and whoops some ass. Later on, thank God, Angel and Damon, they end up working it out. They hug it out. They're both packing so that they can move. Um, Damon ends up leaving and he's going on tour or whatever. Um, they cut to a scene where Ricky is asleep over at Pray Tell's house, right? Pray Tell laying up in the bed, Ricky over there sleep like a little child, looking like a little old baby. Child, it looked weird as hell. That's what I mean. It looked like real father and son. It didn't look like two passionate lovers. But then, at the very end, Blanca is in the house by herself, big ass bottle of wine. She's sitting at the table by herself, all alone, y'all. It just gave me PTSD back to the last episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when Will was sitting in the house and there wasn't nothing there so he just looked at everything and he started crying and he flicked off the light and he left. Y'all, that was the end of the episode. This episode of Pose was so good. It was so juicy. I apologize for the review being a little bit longer than I wanted to be, but I had to make sure that I got in all the key points because it was good. If you have not watched it already, please go back and watch it because it was damn good. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. And um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.